It's late March 2016, and uh, we're finally getting our chance to ride Ducati's new Multistrada Enduro here in Sardinia. It's a beautiful island in the Mediterranean off the coast of Italy. It is actually part of Italy, uh, and uh, it's my first time here. It's really nice roads, a uh, little bit of Southern California feel. Now, this is a modification. It is a, it is a, a regular Multistrada 1200. Sounds good. It sounds kind of like an old XR650. In this setting at these RPM ranges. With several key changes uh, to make it the Enduro model. 266 of them, I believe, to be precise, not counting fasteners and clips and small parts. Some of the, the large ones that are obvious is a eight gallon tank and a double sided swing arm. Of course, if you weren't paying attention, you could easily get over your head real, real fast. Riding a bike this big and heavy and strong. 30 millimeters more suspension travel, total of 7.8 inches now. The engine's the same, the frame's the same. It's available with Scorpion Rally tires and in in this bike here on your uh, left. And we have the Tour Pack here with panniers on it. Uh, full electronic suite on all the bikes. So now we're riding again in the dirt with the traction control completely off. Of course, traction control is never off. It's your responsibility, buddy. Use your wrist. Really, it has everything that a regular Multistrada has, except the wheels are different. Yeehaw! We have, uh, you know, completely different suspension, and we have different electronic tuning, uh, both for the uh, fuel injection, a little bit uh, crisper throttle response down low. So we're in the coastal ranges on the uh, west coast of uh, Sardinia. Just us and the Italian cyclists. There's definitely a lot of uh, original Multistrada shining through here. Now it's got a smaller diameter master cylinder and larger diameter uh, front piston in the uh, front caliber. Uh, also a different pad compound, although they can't tell me specifically what about it is different. I'm going to guess it's probably a little harder, so it's a little less grabby for off-road use, but uh, that's not confirmed at this time. We've got new skyhook tuning. now. The one thing that I always struggled with on the regular Multistrada was that it moved around a bit too much. I, I'm a bit too heavy for it. Uh, that's of course entirely my fault, but uh, I always found that the Multistrada pitched. No matter, even with a lot of preload, it still pitched a lot with me and ten, tended to bottom a little bit in, in big G outs when, when riding really aggressively. Now these would be ostensibly less sporting motorcycles. They're the Enduro versions, they're longer travel, you would think they would move around more on their suspension, but when these are set to sport mode and you ride them fast on the street, funny enough, they ride right in the middle of their travel and they're much more composed than the standard Multistrada. Now, they do have, uh, they do have uh, some more rake and trail uh, and that adds some stability, but stability wasn't really the problem, it was really more the suspension just coping with a lot of weight a lot of G's mid-corner uh, and I don't see that at all on the Enduro. Uh, much more importantly though you really didn't want to take a uh, regular Multistrada or a Multistrada S off-road. Um, as you can see this isn't a prop. Um, you see my boots here I'm, I'm a little muddy myself. These things are actually intended to go off-road the same way that a uh, KTM New Super Adventure R you know that kind of stuff uh, a GS Trophy so it's been raining here off and on for the last week, so the, the traction's actually pretty good. You can see it's drying out a bit, but even without the traction control on, it's really easy to manage the throttle. I mean, I'm riding a 160 horsepower dirt bike right now, and I'm only spinning the tire kind of when I want to. There we go, lugging it down to 2,000 RPM, which we know according to their new gearing chart is, uh, what, 9.6 miles per hour or something like that. They take a little bit of respect off-road, but you keep them relatively upright and use your head a bit, you can make very good time on them. So, you know, 160 horsepower, 560 pound dirt bike, just just your average every day, 160 horsepower, 560 pound dirt bike. They seem very capable on the, the, the fire roads and the rutted trails that we were on today. Uh, no problem with mud. They have a lot of natural traction, of course, because they're heavy. Uh, so they get a lot of mechanical grip out of the tires for slippery surfaces. I think with the things I didn't like about the standard Multistrada being addressed with the Enduro and then the additional performance envelope, not to mention the larger tank and the additional range, uh, 
the taller bars and and their bend it sort of fits me a little better i think that uh it may be my new favorite ducati piloted by your trusty scribe sean alexander it's ducati's new multi-strata enduro by the azure waters of the mediterranean sea got about just under eight inches of travel in this it's uh, about 1.2 inches more than a standard multistrada. Uh, they've revised the skyhook calibration and uh, it's, it's kind of nice. I think it actually moves around on the suspension a little less than the standard multistrada, even though it's longer travel. Um, there's really not, not a lot of dive at all. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it behaves pretty well. Uh, the multistrada was never really my favorite Ducati and the multistrada Enduro may now be it. Uh, the view doesn't suck, though. Of course, if you weren't paying attention, you could easily get over your head real, real fast. Riding a bike this big and heavy and strong, uh, you know, like coming up that hill and rolling off towards the top. If you came over that hill with a little power on it, suddenly you saw that it, the world disappeared to the left. There's not enough traction and there's so much inertia that you're pretty much going to go straight. Unless you're already set up for it, you really know what you're doing. I'm not claiming to be that guy. Mostly off-road, I rely on luck and stupidity. Oh,